Greetings, welcome to the KF7P Metalworks Metal Studio. Today I'm going to do a little explanation of the entry panel boxes that I build. The purpose of the entry panel box is to provide an easy and a professional way of getting the cables from your antennas from outside your house to get them inside and provide lightning protection and surge and static protection on those lines all at the same time. So here we have three different boxes, a small, um, uh, large, and medium. I've also got an extra large and can do custom sizes. This one is made out of tenth of an inch thick aluminum. These other two are powder coated galvanized steel and they can come in either 18 or 16 gauge galvanized steel depending on how heavy duty of a situation you need. Uh, this one's going to be powder coated tomorrow but they can come bare or painted. This color is a coffee granite. This one's called bronze and they can come in any of the colors that you see here to match your house and, and your circumstances. They do come with either an aluminum or a copper mounting panel in the back and the, the panel is uh, where you mount your lightning arresters and tie all your grounds together from outside and inside. The cables can come up through the bottom through these grommets. Uh, if the box is outside on a tower or uh, somewhere outside they can come up through a grommet in through the lighting resters and back out the bottom or if they're mounted on the wall of your house I can put a hole in the back of the, of the box where the cables come up through the arrestor and the cable continues through the hole and through your wall into your house. The uh, boxes are made with a hinged lid and then the box itself is a three-piece construction. It has a, a top which has the sides folded over to prevent water from coming in the back and the sides are another piece and then the third piece is the, is the bottom and it has a half inch lip on it to prevent water from coming up and getting things wet inside. The lid does have a gasket on it to keep it dry and they come standard with a simple thumb screw hold down to keep the uh, lid closed. If more security is needed we can also do a regular keyed lock on that. The hinges that I use are a stainless steel hinge, so they shouldn't rust, last forever. Of course, they're powder coated along with the box as well. The grommets that I use are large enough to put a PL259 through, so it's very easy to change out your cables, switch things back and forth, make modifications as necessary without having to cut the connectors off. Uh, I can also use, in lieu of the rubber grommets, I can do a cable gland which will seal the, uh, the coax cable. Uh, these are nice if you need to mount, if the cables need to come out the top or on the sides, that will completely prevent water from getting in. I do carry two lines of lighting arresters. One's made by Alpha Delta and the other is Morgan Manufacturing. Both are very high quality professional lightning arresters to perfect your, protect your equipment that are connected to your cables. The boxes do have four mounting holes on the rear where they can be mounted on a wall of your house for instance uh, with regular screws and then in the bottom there's also a slot in case you want to ground your uh, the copper sheet in the box with copper strap. There's slots in the bottom where that copper strap can be inserted in and screwed into the back of that copper panel very easily. If you prefer to use round wire to tie into your ground rods, you can also use a regular copper wire lug which uh, pop on with self-tapping sheet metal screws. This box, you can see I've got a line of holes drilled for Alpha Delta units to mount on and I can put as many as, as the boxes will fit. Uh, this one right here actually has two different holes uh, on each side for future expansion and I've covered those up with a regular uh, plastic plug so they can be popped out later and we can put more grommets in and add more cables and so forth. Let's take a closer look at the inside of the box now. When your box arrives take the copper sheet and the arresters out and go ahead and get it mounted on your wall. There are four stainless steel studs on the four corners that will allow you to remount your copper sheet with the arresters. It just slips right over the studs very easy to do just like that and then attach it with some nuts. The uh, lightning resters 
do mount the, the Morgan Rusters mount with self-drilling sheet metal screws. You don't even need to drill holes first. It's very easy. Just zip them on in there. I prefer putting a little bit of antioxidant grease such as Penetrox A on the back of the arrestor before you stick it on. Same thing goes with the Alpha Delta units. And then you're going to need to make a connection, two connections to ground. One is from your ground rods and the second is from your station ground. Station ground, I prefer to use a copper braid, so I'll run that in through the hole in the back of the box and then attach it with some self-drilling sheet metal screws with some large washers on them to help give a good firm connection. And then for the ground rods, you can either use round wire with a wire lug like one of these, just mount it on here anywhere that's convenient, run the wire down through one of the grommets down to your ground rods, or if you decide to use copper strap, you can use the copper strap up through the bottom corner slots, which I demonstrated earlier, and attach that to the back of the copper sheet with self-drilling sheet metal screws. It's really easy to do. Okay, finally, one last thing. The conduit install kit, you can see here there's a nice uh, bushing that allows uh, the cables to go into the, in, into the house, and the bushing prevents the cables from being chafed. This is what the conduit install kit looks like. This mounts on the box. This is what it looks like right here. And that allows you to run conduit through the wall into your house. And then I'm also working on a terminator that'll be on the inside of the house where the cables come out that'll look real nice and provide a finished professional appearance for your cables as they exit the wall.